Good afternoon, guys. Happy Thursday. Sorry I didn't upload yesterday. There's a hurricane <laughs> that was going on, and so uh, it is still going on. Luckily, I've not lost power, so I can record. Uh, I am safe. The The dog is safe. He, he wanted to walk this morning in tropical storm force winds for some reason. Now, I don't know why he wants to do that, but you know what? He wants to do what he, what he wants to do. So uh, that was a fun experience, but I am safe, uh, and it should be over. You know, basically by the time this is uploaded, it should basically be over. So, um, I, I, I'm in Orlando. I didn't get hit that hard. I, I, you know, obviously the West coast of Florida got hit pretty hard. So, uh, prayers up for everyone over there today. We're back on NASCAR Thunder 2004. Tomorrow we'll be back on iRacing Saturday as well. We will be on iRacing. So two videos back to back on Sa uh, Friday and Saturday, uh, via iRacing cause it is Talladega week. So I want to make sure I'm on there, but today we got to do a Coke 600. We will be starting at the back. I'm not going to try to qualify on pole. We're going to be starting from the back and I don't think we have the best car. Just, just my knowledge. I, I think, yeah, it's not going to be the best car. Uh, tire grip's going to be at 80 and yeah, everything's going to be kind of a little bit weak, but there's going to be a lot of new stuff coming in, um, and, and finishing up. So that should be good. I think the, the standings, it's a three-point gap between us and Dale Earnhardt Jr. 32 to Harvick, 56 and 57 back to Jarrett and Stewart. And uh, I'll keep this paint scheme. I, I don't really know what it is, but I'll, I'll keep it. We'll run it again. Let's see what we can do with the chassis. It's going to be uh, chassis number 10, engine number 10, and body number 10. Okay, that is that. Car rating of 80. want to give a shout out to all the Patreon members, as always. For support of the channel, you guys are the absolute best, and uh, we're gonna do this. It's gonna be a hundred. Wait, it is a hundred laps. A hundred laps, starting from the back. Shouldn't be a problem starting from the back, but hopefully, because it is tough to pass at this track, hopefully everything goes smooth. Welcome everyone to Charlotte, North Carolina. It's time once again for the running of the Coca-Cola 600 here at Lowe's Motor Speedway. And EA Sports is here to bring you all the action. This should be a fantastic race as usual. This track was the first one to focus on spectator comfort, and it shows. This place always draws an enormous crowd. Most of the team shops are located in this area, which give it a hometown feel. We're in for some great racing here at Lowe's. Ward Burton got a pole during his rookie season here at Lowe's Motor Speedway in 1994. He got the pole, but finished 41st. That pretty much summed up Ward's rookie season when he failed to finish 12 races. Ashton Lewis is towards the bottom of the points list this season. And how frustrating must that be? You're working just as hard as everyone else, yet you just can't seem to finish well on race days and gain the valuable points you need. Those guys need a good finish just to regain their confidence as a team. How about the consistency shown by the DeVilbis car? That's right, and I think you'll have an excellent run in this one as well. I spoke to the crew chief this morning, and he assured me that they have a very fast hot rod. Gentlemen, start your engines. Okay, so Junior's on pole. That makes this one a little bit more interesting. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with that nonsense, and I think we will be just fine, lads. I just hope there's no incidents, accidents, wrecks. I think we will be okay. I think the car will be okay. It should handle basically the same as it did in the All-Star Race, and we were fine in the All-Star Race, so it should be fast enough. I mean, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Okay, maybe not. I thought I was gonna carry some straight line speed, but I'm gonna be patient. A hundred laps, all right? We will be just fine as long as I don't wreck. So I'm not gonna take too many risks. There's uh, Steve Park over there in the 30. That's gonna be uh, frustrating once we get to him. Uh, do I take a risk here? No, 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 no risks, no risks. We're fine, we're fine. Just stay in line. We will be okay. I'll go three wide if we get to the 30 because I don't want him to just destroy my car. So let's go three wide now. Right there, we'll get protection from the guys, and be careful, don't slide up. And now I'm not going to get protection, okay, here we go, he might hit me, he might hit me, he did not hit me, okay, we move. I don't think I've made contact with another car so far, my car is completely clean, so we've gone through almost half of the field already, completely clean, still side by side with everyone, that's a very nice number 12 all Altel Dodge right there, that's a beautiful paint scheme, Mr. Ryan Newman, uh, nope, I'm backing out of that. See, usually I would I would carry on with that, but no, no, no. We're gonna back out of that. 
and just wait because there goes Elliot Sadler up the track and we move right on through and we continue on is Robbie Gordon a minus 60 rival I don't know I don't even remember Robbie Gordon becoming a rival and there's my first contact with the one car I apologize uh, but yeah I don't think he is can I share draft them Jeremy Johnson's a minus 34 I'm trying to share draft Robbie Gordon I can't I can't get him so I'm just gonna hope let's see if I could just get a peek there we go minus 42 that's fine he will not hit us we'll just go right underneath him into p17 now we can go three wide on mayfield through the tri oval because this is a good area where we'll have enough horsepower just to clear and we clear that next to ricky craven back up turn one and we've basically done the hard part getting through the the first half of the field now it's going to be spread out and now is junior leading junior is leading now we can go and try to run him down all right we're about to play with the big boys now we're about to crack the top 10 if labonte wants to just i mean he wasn't giving me a lot of room so off he goes we get a little bit of right side damage for that, but it's fine. Uh, not a big deal. Here's Gordon. That's an interesting paint scheme. That there's something different with the DuPont colors. Okay, there's Wallace. This Is this Looney Tunes? I think that's a Looney Tunes paint scheme. I can't really tell. Uh, we move. Come on, Rusty. Get the hell out of my way. All right. Continue on. Continue on. Kurt Busch, you're up next. Speed. I am speed. I am speed. There we go. Straight line speed underneath Gordon. Perfect make the corner the car is not actually that great in the corners uh, I don't know if it's because I'm carrying so much speed but it's, it's starting to get a little bit it just don't have a lot of grip right now and, and especially one and two uh, we'll go to the high side of Mark Martin I'm not actually trying to pass him here in three and four I'm just trying to set it up so we can get our run coming out of turn four just like this there we go and ooh, a little bit of a block we move get in the draft of Harvick get underneath Harvick there we go. Can I finally get turn one right? Yeah. That was okay. I got a little bit on the apron, but it's fine. Clear of Harvick. Into the top five. Keep an eye on Mark Martin. Nope, he's not coming back. All right. Jarrett, Stewart, Marlin, and Junior has decided to just absolutely check out, so we're going to have to go run him down. But uh, these next three should be easy. I don't know how easy Dale Jr. is going to be. He is very far ahead. All right. Time to get these two. I'm going to actually go to the... No, oh, that was a bad idea. Uh, why did I try to go to the outside? I don't know. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Don't hit the wall. Okay. Let's sit. All right. Stuart, are you blocking? I can't really tell if you're trying to pass Sterling Marlin or block me. I'm not really sure. It looks like he's actually blocking me. Okay. Uh, let's set the, let's not mess that up again. He's going to stay right here. Stay, stay, stay. Enter high. He's going to just com continue blocking me. So I'm just going to run this middle lane for a little bit. Get the run off of four. Cut it down low. You can't block me there. Nope. See you later. And then Sterling Marlin, just go in the grass a little bit. Take that. And that is how you enter turn one. That's the best I've done it recently. Halfway on fuel, 20 laps, which means we can usually go around 38, 39, 40 laps on a tank of fuel. And now there's only one car left. We've passed 42, 41. We've passed 41 cars in basically 19 completed laps. And now we have to get one more. It's our championship rival who's only three points behind. I don't want to let him lead the most laps, so... I have to catch him before lap 50. It's going to be a little bit of a personal goal there. 3.3 seconds is the gap. And let's see. I mean, we should be able to run him down. Uh, at least I hope so. This car, especially now that I have nothing to contend with and I can run the normal line, is probably going to fly. I mean, see, like, I can actually arc the corner now. Look, Oh, it just it sticks like absolute glue. Oh, it's, it's just absolutely wonderful. All right, 3.3 was the gap on that lap. Let's see this one. It is... 3.0, so three tenths faster in one lap. That's what I'm talking about. There he is. It took about 10 laps to get to him, but here we are. We've made up the gap, and I'm just trying to get my car to turn. We're towards the end of the run. We have to come down pit road here soon, but we should be able to yeah, get past him, just avoid the wall. All right, let's, we got the run. I'm not going to try to wait here. Just be nice and easy into the corner, and he should still be there. He is, he is, and we're clear. Oh, God. Woo! Okay, just a little bit for show. Just a little bit sideways coming up. That's the first time I've been sideways, but I was trying to slide up in front of him anyways. And uh, we're good. Okay, and now we have to deal with lap traffic. Because if you look at the mini-map, there's a huge gap from, like, where I, I'm, I'm guessing it would be, like, 17th place, wherever that gap started early in the race, uh, all the way to, like, the top 15. And so we're going to run into all this nonsense. We, we passed them once, and we're going to have to all pass them again. But... We will be pitting in about four to five laps, so it shouldn't be that much of a worry. 
I'm surprised pit stops haven't started yet because it's lap 36. My fuel tank's almost empty and it looks like it just has started. Some cars just came down and we will come down this time by books, books, loose, books, 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 lap 37. And now really the goal for this race, as long as my pit crew doesn't screw me, the goal for this race is I want to lap as many cars as I possibly can. Uh, we, we lapped the whole field at, what was it, Richmond? And I want to see if we could do, um, I mean, we can't do the same thing here. There's no way we'll be able to lap Dale Jr. But, uh, I want to see if we can get somewhere close. So, let's go down pit road. 70 miles per hour. There we go. That is perfect. I always think I, you know, you can always be a little bit more aggressive through there, but there's no line. So, you can't really judge. It's just like, you just hope. So, alright, oh, Labani. Uh, all right, all we gotta do is add a pit crew mistake, and I've lost the lead. Yeah, 7.8. They they they're just not as good as the previous pit crew. 7.8 is like when they're actually doing well. It's a 15.6 pit stop, uh, and there's Dale Jr. We came down on the same lap, and Jr. has taken the lead back because my pit crew is incompetent and cannot deliver good pit stops. So that's fine. I'm not mad. It's okay. I'm used to it now. So we just gotta stay on the apron, merge on. And I'll get my lead back in approximately one minute. Maybe 30 seconds. I'm going to try and chase him down right now. Okay, maybe not 30 seconds. I'm not going to be able to. But let's hopefully Jack Sprague doesn't block me. He always does. He's going to want to block me again. We're not going to let that happen. All right, come back here, Junior. Get over here. Uh, O2 of Hermy, get out of the way. Junior, I want my lead back. I want my lead back. Give it back to me. He look, looks like he want to block. I'm going to go to the high. Oh, a little bit of contact. Okay, that was accidental contact. It's fine. It's fine. I just want my lead. Just you go up there. Just give me, give me my, give me my straight line speed. Yeah, you get pinned behind. Yeah, get back there. Haha. -ha. Okay, and yeah, still plus 54 ally. Hi, Tony Stewart. Uh, and we move and clear and go. All right. See, just, uh, just don't take the lead away from me, please, pit crew. Pit, just. just do your damn job. Oh, Junior is still behind me. <laughs> it's been like four laps, and I just noticed he's still behind. Okay, so on fresh tires, it's actually not that big of a difference between Junior and I. That's interesting. I thought I'd just run away with this, but I guess I'm not. And I didn't even notice. Get out of my way. I'm tired of you little cowards blocking. Still, he's only half a second behind. So I got to make sure that he doesn't stay close enough uh, for the pit stops to decide the race. That's actually the main problem right now look he's actually he's he's quick on fresh tires look at him go all right i'm quicker though so i'm getting out of here you have fun passing all these lap down guys i just gotta do it quickly and I, I i'm pushing hard i'm not i'm not taking it easy i'm pushing hard and we haven't been able to pull away from junior on fresh tires which i think at lowe's motor speedway is is normal fresh tires usually doesn't work the best for us we get better as the run goes on so not too worried about it we just then there you go he's stuck there we go he's trapped behind two lap cars that's going to add another second onto the lead by the time he's able to get around those two so we should just skedaddle skadoodle right along this is a long race man <laughs> this is a long race how are we not at lap 50 yet i feel like i've been here for 30 minutes god oh, damn still nine tenths i didn't even gain any time oh, okay and that's what happens when you lose focus Nine tenths to Junior. I haven't gained any time on him that lap, and he's still there. That's annoying me. Go away, Junior. I don't want competition. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Yeah, a little bit of contact with Mayfield. Hold on. Just keep going. Keep going. Go, go, go. And go. All right. Dale Junior will not go away. I don't understand. I've caught him. I don't know what they've done. I'm not bad. I'm running the same laps I've been running, and he is not going away. He is still right there behind. I uh, bet he's six tenths behind at the moment with clean track, and you can see I'm, I'm running the same speed, same laps, and for some reason, Junior will not go away. So this race is not... And Tony Stewart won't go away either. Tony Stewart's only two and a half seconds back. You see the orange car in the mirror. If you look close enough uh, in the corners, he's there. So... Uh, well, luckily, the two lap cars that held me up are holding Junior up, so the one point, you know, three, four second gap that was there before is, is reinstated, but this is nerve-wracking, because I can't pull away. No matter how hard I push, I can't pull away, and if the pit crew makes a single mistake, I'll be three seconds behind, so that's not ideal, so you just gotta keep pushing. Oh, pit stops are starting. Lap 62, is Junior pitting? No. 
All right, so Junior's not doing the short pit strategy, so he's going to keep carrying on 1.5 seconds to the eight car. We have completely clean track. Other than those two cars right there, you can look at the mini-map. There's nothing in front of us. It'll probably change <laughs> once some of the guys that come out of pit road, but this is where we got to put some time in. If we can get the gap to three seconds, I'll feel a lot more comfortable. But you can say, I'm trying, I mean, I'm pushing, but sometimes the car doesn't really stick, so... I, I've been pushing this whole run. There's been no no saving. 1.6 seconds to Junior. I'm just hoping we still have a clean track when we come out. It looks like it's going to be fairly clean. And there goes my car sliding up the track again. That damage will slow you down a little. Be patient. That was weird. I don't know what happened. Uh, right rear and right front damage now. And there's Junior. Uh, just one mistake. One mistake. Just one Slight mistake, okay. And Tony Stewart's there too. Oh, so much fun. Ooh, Junior pitted that lap. All right, I'm coming in this time then. Books, books, loose. Books, 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 lap 74. We're gonna have 25 laps with fresh tires to push. I didn't want to take any risk in short pitting uh, in case the caution came out because we have a championship to win, but Junior has come down pit road. He's the first one of the leaders to pit. So he's gonna have one lap with fresher tires. And here we come, I'm gonna push this entry in the pit road. Slow it down. There we go. That's about as good as I can do. So we have about, you know, four tenths of a second of damage. We're not gonna worry about that. Pit crew, please. I just I just asked for one solid 15 flat. I know you guys can do it. There's no mistakes, actually. I'll take that back. I don't want a 15 flat. There's no mistakes. There's no mistakes. I don't even want to look. No mistakes. Is it, is it fine? It's eight seconds on the right. Not great, not great. Is it, no mistakes? No mistakes? Are we good? Okay, no mistakes. I'll take it. 15.8. That's going to be very close to where Dale Jr. is. I don't know if we're going to have the lead or if we'll be right behind him. Uh, there's Dale Jarrett. There, is, there he is. There's Dale Jr. I will follow the rules. I will not block him. I kind of did block him. <laughs> I kind of did block him by accident. What's up, buddy? How's it going? We're battling for the win. Uh, you, you can have the lead. You can have it. It's fine. It's fine. I, I tried following the real life rules. Now give me my goddamn spot back. All right. I want it back. I want it back. Give it back to me. Give it back to me. I want it back. See, right now we're a lap down. So if a caution comes out, I'm going to absolutely break the monitor. But I want my virtual lead right back. We got it. There's Tony Stewart. This is going to turn into a three car race. Okay. Oh, he's still there. And there we go. Okay, Radman, Jr., and Stewart. One, two, three after 75 laps. You could throw all three cars under a blanket. Look at that. Beautiful scenes. Okay. So now we just need Dale Jarrett to pit. He has pitted. So the caution threat is gone. And now it's going to be a 25-lap shootout, basically, to win the Coke 600 with Jr. and Stewart. Our two main rivals. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry, I didn't realize we... Uh, didn't realize how close we were. My bad. Oh, they just won't go away. They, they are. I don't know if they've gotten faster throughout the race, but look, Tony, it's not even just It's Stewart. Stewart has two lap pressure tires than Junior and one lap pressure than me, so I think about that as well. I'm pushing, and I can't get away from them. Uh, I don't know if the draft is playing some part of it, but let's see if we can use these lap cars to just get away. The last 20 laps is going to be actually a little bit nerve-wracking. There's the draft, and I'm able to absolutely just haul down the straight. Let's get around Elliot, who's blocking a little bit. Hopefully one of these guys drops down to block Junior. Please, please. I'm going to try and get them to block Junior. Go down. Go low, go low, go low. Nope, they're, they're not going low. Junior's going to fall through. All right, we're going to have to get around Brett Bodine as well. Let's just do this nice and careful through there in the grass. I'm just looking just not to get basically blocked. That's all I care about. All right, we're clear of that. And then two more cars, and then that'll be it. And right now, well, probably not actually. We'll probably catch the next pack. Right now, it's looking good. It's looking good. The car is not as good as I thought it would be late in this race. I, I didn't think this would be actually a fight. I thought this would be a pretty easy cakewalk to a win, but it's not. I don't think they could pass me, though. I think I'll, I'll have to make a mistake in order for them to pass me. Just straight up, I don't think they'll do it. How many times have I lapped Jack Sprague? Honestly, how many times have I lapped you? And every single time I come up to you, you block. Look at this nonsense. Get out of here. Let's go around the high side because we're faster. There we go. We're clear. I, I swear I've passed this car four times. I am not having a good time. 170 miles per hour in three and four. I literally can't do better. And he's still there. But look how we pull away down the straights, though. Just nice, like a, a nice car length or two. 
down the straights. Just send it in a one and two. 177 in the middle of the corner. Drops down to 174 because I'm scraping a little bit of speed, but he still is able to match. We get Jeff Burton's draft here. We're going 205 down the back straightaway. Again, that's a perfect lap. I literally can't run any better than that lap right there. We pulled a little bit. Now we got Jeff Burton who's blocking. And I can't get underneath. I'm just trying to get underneath. There we go. We got underneath. That held us up a little bit. Messed up the angle in a turn one. Can we clear? We're clear. Uh, the two championship rivals will not go away. They're just, yeah, it's just, get away from me. Look, they're even passing the lap car so well. They're not getting held up at all. Go. Oh, shoo. To put it into perspective, Dale Jarrett is six and a half seconds behind in four. Then whoever's in fifth is a, is 12 and a half seconds behind. Fifth place is 12 and a half seconds behind. That's how, like, dominant us three have been. The true championship contenders right here in this race. This is the preview for the championship. Got to get around Kenny Wallace. It's Kevin Harvick who's 12 and a half seconds behind. Dale Jarrett is six and a half. So we get around him. Whatever this lap car. I actually haven't seen this. Oh, God. I got an apron. I got an apron. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Who is this? Barry Baker. Double B. All right. Goodbye, Barry Baker. I'll see you later. Okay. We got Kenny Wallace. That's not Kenny Wallace in the 20. That's someone else. He was blocking for a second. Now he's not. He's decided just to open the door for Dale and her junior. Just carry straight on through. <sighs> 14 laps to go. Case of mirrors. Now is not the time, please. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Just give me the high side. Just get... Left front damage now introduced. I can, okay, okay, just uh, just pick a lane and stay there, please. Thank you. Uh, oh, what is going on? I heard I heard contact. Okay, just get out of my way. Block Dale Jr. for me. Thank you very much. If you're going to block me, block Dale Jr. for at least like half a second so I can go. Thank you. Ten laps to go, Jr. I feel like Tony Stewart's actually the fastest car right now, but he can't get around Jr. And Jr. can't get around me, so we just carry on the, like the little three amigos we are. Steve Park, I still hate you, but you are not a minus 60 rival, so I should be fine, and I just got to be patient here. Hold on. There we go. You're not going to hit me, which I appreciate, and we move. Okay. I'm starting to feel more comfortable because they haven't been able to make a single move on me. I think we have so much straight line speed that there's no way they can get around us. It feels like Formula 1. No, oh, Tony's on the inside. Stewart is on the inside of Junior. We have some lap traffic now that we're going to have to deal with. Excuse me. And now Tony Stewart is in second place. For the first time, pretty much all race, Tony Stewart has entered second place. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything either. But now we're really going to see. There's only five laps to go. And if we just clear this lap traffic quick enough, we can kind of use them as picks. Except none of them are getting out of the way. Uh, or getting in the way. They're just deciding to stay up there. And here comes Tony Stewart. Okay, so this is my worry. That may, even though it's one lap fresher tires, here he comes. Look at him. He's just hunting on the way. Junior's falling back. And we got all, but the good thing is, all these lap cars, I get a ton of draft. Look at that. 200 miles per hour. And we just enter down the bottom, hit the brakes, keep him on the outside. So we should be okay. Four to go. Just get to the inside of Sadler. Hello. Just giving you a nice little rub a dub. All right. And we move through. Thank you. I recognize some of these guys might be running in the top 15, honestly. I don't. We, we fly pretty far up. Stewart is still trying to follow through. We get around Nima check. See you later, buddy. Don't. No, no. Give me room. Give me room. Are we clear? We're clear. All right. Rusty Wallace got both him a lap down. Three to go. Tony Stewart's still following through. Shouldn't be able to get to us. And here we are. Final lap. Stan Barrett, get the hell out of the way. One lap to go in the Coke 600. Way more stressful than I thought it was going to be. I thought we'd be able to get to the lead and pull away, especially once we caught Junior in 30 laps. But nope. They hang, they hung around the whole time. We get around the one car. There's Ward Burton in the 22. We'll get around him. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you can stay on the lead lap. It's fine. You just carry on. Here, I'm not going to make the pass. And we're going to win the Coke 600 for the second time. This time, honestly, it might have been tougher than the first time. I don't know. That was weird. But we did it. And in the points, it's not really going to make any difference because <laughs> Tony Stewart and Dale Jr. are still there. Uh, that was actually very, very stressful. Oh, my Lord. I don't know where Victory Lane is here, so we give the crowd. I can't I can't do a burnout. I can't. Hold on. I'm, trying, I'm trying. 
Is there any smoke in the tires? There we go. All right, three, two, one. You guys are done. I have to save this engine. I have a championship to win. Oh, did I blow the engine? Are you serious? That blew the engine? You gotta be kidding me. Like, I did, I did two burnouts. These engines are weak. Does he stand on the car? Three, two, one. The Coke 600, he does. He stands on the car, his pixelated face that doesn't move. Does, the, no facial features move. It's just a, a stock PNG photo. Pa passed around. Oh, yeah. That's the trophy? No, 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 no. No, all you pixelated faces, get out of here. The trophy girl was looking at me odd. She had very strong blue eyes. What is that? What the? <laughs> why? Why am I unlocking Barney Hall? Rest in peace, Barney Hall. But why? 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 What? All right, next up will be Dover. I don't think the points changed that much, guys. Uh, they did not. 18 points to Junior, 67 to Stewart. So even when we're winning races, it just doesn't really matter. I mean, look, we have six wins on the season, but we only have an 18-point lead in the standings because if you look at his average finish, 6.7 for Junior, and for us it is at an 8.2 because we had that one uh, DNF. So... Makes sense. Take care of yourselves. Comment down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for new. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.